a beautiful day here to be on the water. Got the conservation officers out as well, which is good to see. Yeah, just about to hit the water here. It's looking beauty from what I've already seen off the bridge. Enjoying the rest of my coffee here before I hit the river. Got the USB fan ripping. It's about uh, 30 degrees or so. You feel the humidity coming in. It's pretty uh, cool in the van. I've just got the USB fan going and the blackout curtains up and it's comfortable in here right now. But it's gonna heat up pretty quick here. Decided to get the kayak out. First time this year, the river's looking good. Got the uh, roof rack set up here. With the kayak on, it actually catches quite a bit of wind. This is not an aerodynamic setup by any means. Well, if you're planning on doing the van thing and you don't want to build anything, this is probably what you're going to end up with. A bit of a makeshift bed, whether you platform and store things underneath bins, whatever. Yeah, that's basically the setup there. Your next level is a fan, a real fan in the roof, a roof vent fan, and some type of heating system. Whether it's the Chinese Webastos or propane, which I don't recommend. Where I am in Canada, you definitely need something to go year round. So I didn't want to get footage of me hopping in the yak here because I'm going to have to get back out to go get the tripod. But basically what I like to do is get in, keep your feet off to the side. And if you didn't forget your towel, you can dry them off or just wait for it to naturally happen. And then you don't get the inside of your kayak all dirty, or your backpack all dirty and whatnot. Just in set off here. I'll go upstream a little bit and then uh, float back. customers. There's the bridge from whence we came. This is kind of a neat area. There's been a lot of erosion in the last bit over here as I've just been hanging out here. Chunks of this cliff have been falling into the river. Over in this area here there's a natural spring that comes out of the cliff and it creates a really cold pocket of water right around this bend that fish seem to on and off hang out around. There's a little overflow area here. There's a few little fish in there but nothing too big. Once uh, kind of partitions like that, the storks and the herons kind of clean that out. Lots of tadpoles though. We got a bit of a river debris here. Looks like a rudder. Oh yeah. Ripped it right out of the bottom of the boat. That's not good. I wonder where that's from. That could be from kilometers upriver. I don't know what happened here. Is that. I don't know. 
those eggs. It's not toilet paper. I think something laid its eggs there and it got dug up. Oh, I like this area here. It's uh, been pretty fruitful. The bass, pike, catfish. So there's the bridge there. I'm kind of tucked in around on this little kind of offshoot of a creek here. I notice on this island there's like a cleared area. It almost looks like they're playing like some type of game or something here. It looks like it was freshly cleared. Maybe it's for camping? Oh, there's golf ball. Titless. I don't know. I wonder what they were doing here. Oh, I'm on to the gar pikes. But they want nothing to do with my lures. I'll come up, have a look at it. They aren't biting. Too late in the day, maybe.